A very good morning to traders from United World Capital and Cyprus. Yesterday at Wall Street, Apple again saved the day. Uh, it's going to be a press conference from Apple today where they are going to present uh, new interesting steps how to take increased market uh, uh, shares and this time it would be competitors are Amazon and Google. This means that Apple are seen as a very innovative uh, company from uh, most uh, investors. The stock prices in Apple jumped 4% on the news yesterday and after then Dow Jones and Nasdaq being in the red for most of the session, the Apple news meant that the, both uh, the indexes ended uh, in a positive territory. In Asia this morning, the markets are more or less flat, pointing down. There is no big incitaments and also uh, profit warning from Cater Pillar yesterday has weighed in on the market sentiment. I suspect that we are going to have uh, uh, still a downward falling uh, trend in the stock markets both in Asia and in Europe and the United States. The presidential uh, debate uh, between Obama and Romney uh, went as, as uh, normal. It was regarding foreign policy which is not expected to be one of the hot items for the, for the voters. Uh, as most observers say, Obama took a very narrow victory. Uh, on the currency front, the yen is uh, weaker and it reached 80 uh, against the US dollar yesterday on the expectations that the Bank of Japan would come with new currency during the next days. Uh, it was it reached 802, which is the um, lowest level we have seen of yen since uh, July, and it uh, strengthened a little bit in early Asian trading this morning, and it's now 79.85. The euro is stable against uh, the U.S. dollar around 130.50. Bailouts for Spain and Greece are expected and also the ECB, an ECB, European Central Bank representative, stressed yesterday that uh, the uh, euro is, uh, is there to be. Uh, and the European Central Bank would take all necessary means to see to that development. On the uh, commodities front, uh, oil went down approximately one dollar since yesterday. It's now stabilizing a little bit. Brent is trading on one, uh, 109.50. Uh, gold has been very uh, uh, volatile over the last 24 hours. It has, uh, it has been recovering a little bit in the morning hours and it's now 17.26 after being down to 17.19 during the trading in the United States yesterday. I expect a new day with volatilities in the market and I wish all traders a very happy trading day from United World Capital.